With malnutrition and poor diets undermining the health of more than a quarter of the world's population, the need to support healthy eating has never been stronger. But healthy eating doesn't just mean the types and amounts of foods eaten. It's also about food safety. And safety is compromised for millions of children and poor families in Africa by an invisible, tasteless poison that can frequently be found in everyday foods like maize and groundnut. These poisons, called aflatoxins, are highly toxic chemicals produced by a fungus, Aspergillus flavus, which grows often unnoticed on food crops in farmers' fields. Beginning in the fields, the fungus then continues to grow and produce poisons in stored crops after harvest. Long-term exposure to aflatoxin can lead to cancer and liver disease and weaken the immune system. Aflatoxins also damage livestock health and agricultural productivity. Added to that, an estimated $450 million worth of trade in African farm goods is lost every year because of aflatoxin contamination. Proper drying of crops before storage and protecting stored crops from moisture and insects can reduce the amount of poison the fungus produces. But protecting crops in the field is a different challenge, which science has recently found an answer to, by stopping production of the poison in the first place. First developed by the US Department of Agriculture, the new method uses safe, non-toxic strains of the Aspergillus fungus. These are deliberately introduced to the field where they compete with their toxic cousins, pushing them away and protecting the crop. In Africa, the method was first introduced in Nigeria, where it was adapted to local conditions by the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, or IITA, the African Agricultural Technology Foundation and partners. IITA scientists have created an easy-to-use product called AfliSafe which consists of heat-killed sorghum grains coated with spores from non-toxic local fungus. The small grains are simply scattered on the field at the right time in the farming calendar. Spreading 10 kilos of aflasafe per hectare two weeks before maize or groundnut plants come into flower, for example, gives high levels of protection to the crop, both in the field and afterwards in storage. In field tests, Nigerian farmers were able to reduce contamination in their maize and groundnut crops by 80 to 90 percent using Aflasafe. Several extension agencies and farmers groups have now adopted the use of Aflasafe, and IITA is building a pilot plant capable of producing five tonnes of Aflasafe per hour. Kenya, Zambia, Burkina Faso, and Senegal have now begun to develop their own versions of Aflasafe using their local strains of non-toxic Aspergillus fungus. The biocontrol research has also expanded to Ghana, Mozambique and Tanzania. And in 2012, at the G20 summit in Mexico, Aflasafe was chosen as one of three pilot projects to be included in the Ag Results Initiative, which supports the adoption of agricultural technologies by the poor. IITA's experience in Nigeria has shown that Aflasafe is affordable for most farmers in the country. As a natural, safe and cost-effective solution to aflatoxins, large-scale development and use of Aflasafe could help African countries restore vital trading links and protect the health of millions currently at risk from aflatoxin-related illness.